English weather. One minute it's red hot, the next minute it's freezing cold. Within the space of 42 hours, the weather here completely changes. And that is why we need weather compensation. Weather compensation, how does it work? The key to weather compensation is you'd be warmer for longer for half the price. Weather compensation will be more comfortable in the home. Thing you've got to remember with weather compensation, the radiators won't get red hot. But as a whole, it's better. So how does it work? Here we go. So here is a little chart I've made. So here is the outside temperature and here's the boiler flow. So with everything, you've got to have a heat curve. So let's take, for example, quickly, if it's minus five, the heat curve, under floor, will be 40 degrees. 10 degrees, you come up, with double glazing, the flow temperature will be 65 degrees. If it's a single glazed property, where there's loads of heat loss, 10 degrees, you come up, well, it's off the scale. So, weather clump is the flow temperature, the heat output, to match the, the U value of the house, the heat loss of the house. So, how can you fit weather compensation? Well, we've got two methods. Use the internet, which gets the average from three weather stations. That's good, it's quick, it's responsive. But for a more accurate weather compensation, you're best off using a hardwired weather compensation, like so. So here's a hardwired, it's basically an NTC measuring resistance from the outside temperature. Fit it, anti-drip, through the wall. The weather compensation always goes on the north facing side of the dwelling. That is so you get the coldest side of the dwelling. You get a real accurate reading. If you can't put it on the north facing, put it in the south, but put it behind a soil pipe or maybe underneath the fascia. So let's talk about more advantages of weather compensation. So for a start, you get a lower flow temperature. Remember, it's looking at the outside temperature to calculate the flow temperature. Pump modulation. The pump will work more efficiently, especially if you've got um, an ERP um, pool swift modulation pump as well. Fuel gas valve starts, we'll talk about that in a moment. The lower the gas valve keeps igniting, the longer you have as a durability of a gas valve. A gas valve can only handle 250,000 starts. Okay. Not only that, lower temperature, clean heat exchanger. The lower the boiler works, the more it condenses, the more it condenses, the more efficient it is. The more it condenses, the more it will clean the heat exchanger for you. So, let's look at controls in a more um, efficient manner. So, when you work at controls, especially renewables, you're on two types of temperature. Daytime temperature, when it's on, setback, when it's off. So really, you don't want the boiler off. So when the boiler is off, do a minimum house temperature of 16 degrees. If it's gonna be 16 degrees, it's simple. The boiler won't fire up. So let's look at this. So here you have a boiler with weather compensation. The heating is always on. Weather come, it fires up. It doesn't go to high five, it doesn't need to. Instead of it switching off, it might just come on. Maybe it's the middle of winter time, minimum temperature is 16 degrees, it'll fire up, fire up, fire up, fire up. So the house is constantly warm, it's warm for longer, and it's using half the electric. Now if you use box standard controls, room thermostat, a timer, what will happen is the boiler will fire up, you're using all that gas, switch off, the house will go cold, and it'll fire up again. So you can see the difference in this chart. Weather compensation, gas is constantly being used, low. So it's almost like having a pilot light on, isn't it? On off controls, on, off. Let's talk about this in, in, in more technical terms. With weather compensation, the more than likely have a learning curve. If you go home for lunch, you put heating on, the, the weather compensation, the smart control, will detect that. You can also get GFMC. So when you've got your mobile phone on you, it'll detect when you're in the property again, when you're three miles away, so it'll fire up. The other thing is remote management. If you've got a mobile phone activating your heating control, you can get a fault or performance management on your phone. Weather compensation, that's simple. Remember, outside temperature, outside temperature dictates your flow temperature. Simple as that. Warmer for longer, more comfortable.